Willoughby and you're watching The Extra Factor. The auditions are looming, so it's time to don the platforms, slap on the fake tan, whiten the teeth and ooze with confidence. When Simon Cowell has finished doing that, it's time for this lot to audition. More music variety, this is Heart, it's a Saturday morning and unfortunately it's a sad, sad day in the UK as the Extra Factor auditions draw to a close. So that's it, the Extra Factor tour's over for another year. But someone forgot to tell Louis. Bye Louis. They forgot to tell us as well. Because we've got 60 more minutes, including adverts, of action to go. And all those unanswered questions that have been keeping you up late at night will finally be resolved. Where will we get more Louis Limericks from? And who's going to win the final of Presentiators? So stay tuned because we've saved the best till last. Well, sort of. Kind of... ish. I'm Glenn. I'm 17 and I'm from Newcastle. I think I sound a bit like Robbie Williams, but I reckon I could be about as big as Elvis. I see myself just being the best. So I know you've sacrificed quite a lot to be here today, haven't you? Yeah. Some holding money to pay for petrol. So that means you can't go on holiday now? <laughs> Goodness me, so there's quite a lot riding on this, isn't there? Yeah. What are you going to be singing today? Robbie Williams, She's the One. And you've brought your words with you? Yeah. Have you learnt these yet? I've learnt nearly all of them. OK. Go on. When? When you said what you want to see and you know the way you want to see it. You'd be so high, you'd be flying. You're not going to forget your lines, are you? Right, good morning. What's your name? I'm Glenn. Why did you decide to audition for the show? I just really want to um, sing, basically. Yeah. Just sing professionally. OK. Shall I stop? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Just got the looks here, because I didn't know them. You don't know the words? Not all of them, just a little bit. I don't know. I was her. She was me. We were one. We were free. And if there's somebody calling me on, she's the one. Glenn, uh, I'm not being rude, but that was one of the most boring auditions we've ever had to sit through. I mean, there was just nothing there. I think it's a pretty dull song. It's just, um... It's a dull song. Wait, when I sing it, it's... When you sing it is. Yeah. Uh, You're right. So, so we're agreeing with each other. You know, we agree with you. You come back in ten minutes with a song which isn't boring. OK, come back. All right. <laughs> You've got ten minutes to find a song. What are you going to do? Gotta give rock and roll to you. How does that go? Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. You see, we've got this problem again, haven't we, with the words? Gotta give rock and roll to you. So we're going to see a whole different Glenn. Great. Gotta give rock and roll to you. Gave rock and roll to you. Gave rock and roll to everyone. Gotta take a stand or you can't compose. Work real hard or just fantasize. Cause it's never too late to work. Sorry, that, that's all I remember. Sorry. Yeah, but what were you doing with your nose at the end? Tickly. Right. I don't think this experiment's worked, has it? All right, Louis, yes or no? I'm gonna say no. Cheryl? I would love to see, yes, being a Geordie, fat old Geordie and all, but that was horrific. I've just gone. We gave him a chance. What do you think went wrong? Nerves. Nerves. Just got the better of you. We know what? We know that you've used your holiday money to get here. So at ITV2, we thought we'd bring the holiday to you. Does that sound like a plan? So, I'm coming on board. That's your holiday hat. I've got my sunnies on. And let's go tear up the beach 
in Birmingham, but in a very nice pool. <laughs> now we can say, right, what we're going to do tonight, maybe we could go for, like, a pizza or something down by the front, yeah? <laughs> maybe we could go for a little dip in the ocean a little bit later. Maybe get a banana boat out, you and me. Does that sound like a plan? <laughs> oh, I'd love to see the banana boat. <laughs> Well, listen, I'll go and see if the banana boat is ready to go and I'll see you in a minute, OK? You stay here, make sure this pool stays nice and warm. See you in a bit! As the Extra Factor tour has spread through the land, broken hearts have been left strewn across the countryside. Please. And it's all down to just one man, and his name is Mr. Louis Walsh. Yes, that's right. Little Louis has been turning young and old. Weak at the knees. Louis's all right. Very nice, very nice. What have you cuddle a teddy bear? And sending their hearts a-jittering all over our fair isle. It's in me you're looking for. Hot. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> but alas... <laughs> None of these swooning masses have managed to melt this Casanova's heart of steel. All right, we're going to vote, sweetheart. Okay. Louis, yes or no? No. What? <laughs> Dude, good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheered him up. <laughs> <laughs> or discover the key to his sacred bedchamber. But have no fear, we have discovered this very secret. We have unleashed what lies behind Mr. Walsh's lover's lair and what makes this man's heart really tick. In our Love for Louis compatibility test. Ask me the question. OK, right. This is about your preferences. OK. OK. <laughs> OK. Smoker or non-smoker? Well, non-smoker. Absolutely. Pyjamas or no pyjamas? Pyjamas. Oh, Louie. Yeah. OK. I wear pyjamas. Do you? <laughs> OK. Neatly trimmed or au natural? Oh, neatly trimmed. <laughs> 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 Neatly trimmed. Right, lights on or lights off? Oh, off. Oh, off. Romantic. Boys own or Westlife? I'm working with oh. both, Harry. Be careful. I'm working You've with both. You've got to pick one. Or Westlife. Westlife. They make more money. Three, <laughs> that's a magic number. Three, it is. It's the magic number. Three, number. So, you guys are Trilogy. I'm going to let you introduce yourselves. You are... I'm Grant. You are... I'm David. And you are... Just the two of us. Isn't there three in a Trilogy? Well, <laughs> at first I was three in the band, but then he decided to live in Spain instead. He's gone to Spain? Yeah, and he's going to miss out on this. Oh, so he's on holiday over the auditions? Yeah. Oh, no. Is that a mistake? A big Seems, mistake. Yep. <laughs> well, listen, I, I kind of think that I can't let you go out there calling yourself Trilogy when there's only two of you. We really stood for our ideas. What about the French? Mm, I think that sounds a bit... Zwei, a little bit German. We're not really foreign, so... Dos, Spanish. <laughs> what about couple? That sounds like we're... A couple. Yeah. Hello. Hi, guys. OK, so you are... Trilogy. Trilogy. OK, and how many of you? There's <laughs> two. <laughs> Just the two of us. But you call Trilogy? Well, wow. yeah, we had three, but uh, one went on holiday. And you couldn't change the name? No. All right. And what's the dream, guys? Being a worldwide success, really. As big as...? Beatles. OK, Beatles. Yeah. I'll never break your heart I'll never make you cry. I'd rather die than live without you. I'll give you all of me, honey, that's no lie. You can see their practice is really paying off. And I understand, but girl, it's time to let go. I, I think there's a lack of charisma problem here. Okay. You were standing there like two matchsticks, you know, there was just nothing. Okay. I ain't gonna say no. Cheryl? No, I don't think this is for you. Sorry, boys. Oh. Take nice care. Nice to meet you, though. Would you bring the chip? First there were three, then there were two. Now there's none. 
So what do you think your mate's going to say in Spain? Do you think he's going to be pleased that you went? Most likely. Should <laughs> we just lie and say you got through? I could do. <laughs> OK, brilliant. Right, let's just pretend. I ain't got a sec. To be sure, yes. Cheryl. Hey, man, yes. Sorry, boys. You have to go to boot camp. Love those guys. We'll show that bit to him, yeah, we will. and then in reality, we'll all know the truth. But he won't. Is that a good plan? That sounds good to me. <laughs> Still to come. Why don't you just say it, say it? No. Oh, oh. What are you doing? I'm so bad. No! Yeah, just remember. Do that Love one. that. Breaking over the extra factor prairie. We mean holding room, allowing us to observe these rare and exotic creatures in their natural habitat. Grooming, mating, feeding, and grooming, and mating, and feeding. In fact, all they seem to do is groom, mate, and feed. Oh, look, there in the distance, you can see the rare species known as the long-haired, high-pitch, lesser-spotted Jill Rybird. My name is Jill Rye. I'm age 13. I'm from Swanley, in Kent. Notice how the Rye herd walk in single file, following the matriarch to their interview point. I basically um, auditioned for the exact factor because I wanted to become a pop star. And famous. I think Simon Cowell would give me a standard ovation once he's heard me sing. Here we can observe the eating patterns of the pack. Watch how they share the carcass, devouring every last morsel. But what effect does this have on her voice? I think I'm as good as Mariah Carey. When, when I sing, I can go up high and low. Like, like she does hit the high note and the low notes. And the long-haired, high-pitched, lesser-spotted Jill Rybird has a unique mating ritual. I'm quite popular with men, yeah. Notice the unusual hand gestures she uses to attract other species. I think Simon Cowell would fancy me. I think Louis Walsh would fancy me. In fact, I think Cheryl and Danny would fancy me. <coughs> right, tired of whispering, let's see the audition. Come in. And what's your name, darling? Jill. Jill. Right. Jill Wright, OK. Tell me something interesting about you, Jill. Well, I like, used to sing in school choirs and things like that. You sang in the school choir? Yeah. OK, and what are you going to sing? Hero. OK. There's a hero if you look inside your heart, you don't have to be afraid of what you are. There's an answer if you reach into your soul, and the sorrow that you know will melt away. And when the hero comes along with the strength to carry on, and you can't so feel a sigh. And you know you can survive So when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong And you'll finally see the truth That a hero lies in you All right, Jill. Louis? No. Cheryl? No. Danny? No. No, we weren't quite there today, Jill. Okay. Never mind. Thank you. Thank you. Sadly, it wasn't meant to be today. Were you surprised with the judges' comments? Um, a bit, yeah. But I should come back and try again next year, anyway, so... Are you going to try again? I will, yes. Yeah. So you're definitely not giving up? No. You yourself sort of compare yourself tomorrow, yeah. don't you? Yeah. So what will you do next year to try and make that difference? Well, I should try and, like, 
do another song. I love the fact you're so determined. Yep. And I wish you well, and I'll see you next year. Here you can see the beautiful coal siren spraying herself with her musky scent. Let's watch as the smell takes hold. The alpha male's interested. But so too is the Irish grey-haired wagtail. Oh dear. I'm Katie, Libby, Andy, and Faye, Carly, and we are... Desire! There is such a gap in the market for some fresh, new, young faces, <laughs> and we're ready to step into it, and we're ready to take on the challenge. Desire. What have you girls got that is different to, say, all the other girl bands that have entered the competition? We all have fun together, and I think it comes across as well. With we being so close, we all feel so comfortable with each other. Girls allowed should definitely be watching their back, cos we're coming. <laughs> Good luck today. Desire be on fire. Oh, yay! Yeah. Right, so who are you? Desire. Right, and what is Desire? We are the next girl group to take over. <laughs> Everything. You really believe that? Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? Newcastle. Newcastle. OK. Uh, what Do you I know you? <coughs> you know Faith. Yeah, from back in the day, Cheryl, EM modelling agency. <laughs> We've got you on video, Cheryl. <laughs> what is it? Um, it was a catwalk in Sunderland one time, you know what I mean? You <laughs> strung str str down the catwalk. And, you, and you have video of that, do you? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, OK. Wow. This Great. could help your <laughs> Give me a little rock sax on, right? Uh, giving it some of these. Really? <laughs> girl, it's the worst. Good girl. Fantastic. Like yeah. Okay, what are you going to sing? Sway. Pussycat Dolls. Okay. When the rimba rhythm starts to play, dance with me, make me sway. Like a lazy ocean hugs the shore, hold me close. Sway me more. I can hear the sound of violins long before it begins. It begins. Then we sway as only you know how. You know sway how. Me smooth. Sway me now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right, um, Cheryl. I like that you all just come in jeans and vests and kept it quite simple and young. I like your personality. You've got great energy. Vocals need a lot of work. My problem was is that when you did the Pussycat Dolls song, you're always going to fail by comparison. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't make you British. And what I like about girl bands... And Girls are loud. But, OK. <laughs> but I can, just, I can... Why can't you just say it, Simon? You find <laughs> it so hard to just say that you like us. Come on, tell us why. Okay. Why I like Girls Aloud is they're British. <laughs> yeah. So when you lot come in and copy the Americans and do it, you know, a fraction of good, it bothers me. Louis, yes or no? You need a lot of work to be anywhere close to Girls Aloud. I'm going to say yes. Thank you. Oh, Thank I you. love you. Cheryl. I have to be honest, we have had better girl bands in. But based on the fact that I like you, I'll say yes. And I'm going to say yes. I'm nervous about this tape just gone. Don't be worried. Oh, Cheryl, don't be silly. We wouldn't do anything to embarrass you. Uh, actually, yeah, we would. <laughs> Well, we've kind of got the video. No! Yes, we have. Here no! it is. <laughs> Holly. Yes? I thought you were my friend. I am your friend. But you do look very cute and you're only 11. <laughs> We can see the great alpha male striding to his destination. A 
observe how long it takes him to sign his autograph. That's it, Simon. Capital S, little I, double L. I think he just wanted your name, Simon. Well, your shopping list. Phew! I thought we'd never get there. No wonder you're always late. Have they all left? Yes. Next to step into the lion's den is a sibling act with more than just luck on their side. I'm Sarah. And I'm Adam. And, and we're, we're Agasimba. Lord, I want to thank you that, that, that you have brought us to this audition and that we will wow those judges with our singing. We want to spread a message of God's love for the entire nation, in fact, the entire world. And we want to do that through music. If it takes years, it takes years. If it takes until we're on our deathbed, then so be it. <laughs> I personally really, 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 really want it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say about 12. That's, that's how much I really want it. This is it. This is the girl that we are wanting. Sun, Gal, Louis Walsh, Denny Minogue, Cheryl Co Cole. Watch out, because we're going to blow your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. Aren't we all? I suppose so. Amen. Hello. How are you? Yeah, all right. We're going to do it. 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 Who have we got here? Uh, my name is Adam. This is my sister, Sarah. And mm -hmm. we're called Agasimba. Oh, what? Agasimba. Ag Ag what does that mean? It uh, means land of gold. It was the first name of Zimbabwe. And that's where our parents come from. OK. Okay. And guys, why are you here today? Uh, we basically uh, want a chance to be able to spread the word of God, really. The word of God? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why? Because um, we want to see souls saved from hell, basically. Want to what? Souls saved from hell. Do you think right. Simon's soul needs saved? Yes, unfortunately. Sorry, oh. Simon. Really? <laughs> As you repent. As you repent. Okay. Guys, what's your ambition? Is it to save the world? Yeah. Yeah, basically. Basically that. Okay, great. What's the song? I've had the time of my life. From Dirty Dancing? Probably. Yes, great. Okay. I've been waiting for so long. Now I finally found someone to stand by me. We saw the writing on the wall as we felt this magical fantasy. Just remember. You're the one thing I can get enough of. So I tell you something. This could be love because I had the time of my life and I owe it all to you. Simon? I... I I found it actually quite, uh, just a little bit uncomfortable. Um, Why? Well, mainly because of the faces you pulled when you sang. Um, and I'm not being rude, but you, you were fairly terrible. Um, and I didn't think the song was sort of appropriate for brother and sister. Uh -huh. You tell us that you want to spread God's message and you sing dirty dancing to, to each, each other. other. It's a bit weird. It's kind a love song and it's about passion and dancing salsa rumba yeah a little bit awkward Adam you, you had this constipated look in your face it was like it was a, it was it wasn't a good look mm. oh. all right okay well, let's just vote Louis yes or no no Charles no. sorry guys nice to meet you both yeah thank you keep spread the word I guess Simba is not going to split up just because we got one rejection. Because um, Thomas Elva Edison, he tried 200 times to invent the light bulb. And then the last time he succeeded. So we will be back. We will be so back. we will do it a lot better this time. Here we can observe the habits of the exotic, antipodean, dark-haired, shimmying songstress. 
Watch how she leads her brood into a merry dance before making a quick getaway from her driver. We mean Predator. Let me just point out something, a little bit of ITT backstage stuff. This is all of the judges' food right here, look. <coughs> Beautiful sandwiches, gorgeous little bolivon things, fruit cut up into tiny little bite-sized pieces just to be popped into the mouth. And then, look what they actually eat. Can we just zoom in on the old golden arches over there? And if you look at Mr. Cowns, he's tucking into a fillet of fish. Just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. I'm shocked. Lunch may be over, but Simon's already planning dinner. Tea bags, raspberry jam, salad cream. Yummy! A delicious trio of ingredients. Let's hope the same can be said for our next auditionees. Hi, I'm Stacey. I'm Fallon. And I'm Mary Beth. And we are Magenta! Even though we haven't really been together as a group that long, we've got such a close bond as friends. No one told you that was gonna be this way Your job's a joke, you broke your life We really support each other and really help each other out anywhere we can, don't we? So we think like people will be able to see that, how, how close friends we are and how much we do get on. We're so excited to be here, seriously. We're like, this is the dream. Yeah. What's the name of the group? Magenta. Are you friends, sisters? Friends. All right, let's, <laughs> let's, let's hear the song. OK. Hey, sister, go, sister, so, sister, flow, sister. We met mama like tiny dog, bull and bro. Strutting her stuff on the street. She, she said, said, hello, hey, Joe. You want to give it a go? Uh-uh-uh. Oh, oh. Gucci, Gucci, yeah, yeah, da, da, hey. Gucci, Gucci, yeah, yeah, here. Well, it was a bit copycat and very juvenile, I thought. A bit childish, really. I like the energy, but I don't see anybody signing it in a hundred years. Yep. Okay, Louis, yes or no? No. Cheryl, yes or no? No. Sorry, girls. We've got such a close bond as friends, and you know, we really support each other and really help each other out anywhere we can, don't we? Okay, can I just ask you, is there any way we could come back on our own? <laughs> as, as solo artists, I do that. I love way. that. Yeah. You've literally left the group within five seconds of getting a no. Did, Did you, you know she was going to say that? No. I think you better sort this out, and then we'll have a conversation later. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Great friends. Uh oh. Loyalty. <laughs> Scheming little minx. The unbreakable bond of Magenta's friendship is broken. And a gaping chasm has opened up between them. <gasps> Time for some emergency friendship surgery. I'm sure you've got things that you want to say to each other. I didn't do it to, you know, backstab the group or anything like that, yeah. but I did, I did say, yeah. can we come back? Don't fall out completely. No, and I'll let you all have a little chat now, because I know you've got to go back up very soon, OK? OK. All right, good luck, Thank girls. You. Good luck. See ya. So, has the band-aid of my advice healed the gaping chasm in the girls' friendship? <laughs> Not exactly the full recovery I was looking for, but let's hope splitting up was the right decision. Nothing you confess can make me love you less. Next, please. I'll wear the best. Next, please. Somewhere. Okay. Well, look, the good news is that you're all in the same boat. Because none of you can sing. With a lot of work, that could be okay. Yeah, we're talking about decades. Seriously, it's a no. Okay. Cheryl? No. no. Have fun, you. girls. It's going to be a frosty <laughs> night in Birmingham. <laughs> Do you think that this is something you can move on from? We won't be the same. 
So it looks like it really is a case of goodbye, my friends, for Magenta. You know you've got a new shouldn't have gone back in. You have to do This week, viewers, there's only been one thing on the public's mind. Tart playing you more music variety. It's the biggest thing on British television right now. Who's going to win the final of Presentiators? I'm so excited about the final of Presentiators. Who's going to win? Polly. I really want Dermot to win. He's the man. It's going to be amazing. Holly! Holly to win! We want Dermot to win. Go on, Holly. Yeah. So far on Presentiators, we've witnessed some incredible, death defying feats of strength and skill. We've seen crying. We've got tears! We've seen laughing. <laughs> We've seen staring. We've seen spelling. M-I-N-O-Q-U-D. And we've seen singing. Uh... Now it's time for the ultimate final challenge. Yes, it's singing. Again. But this time there's a sting in the tail. It's in front of this lot. The last round saw me increase my lead to an impressive 4-2. Can Weary O'Leary come back from the brink to triumph over all in this last test of presenting prowess? This final of finals? Well, no, technically he can't, what with there only being one point up for grabs. But will that stop him trying and being almost certainly humiliated? Of course not. Let's get it on. Holly ready! Holly ready! Damn it, ready! Damn it, ready! Three, two, one! Mind Mind the, uh, my friend, though. What's the song? I've got It's not by Britney. Oh, Sonny and Cher. Ready? <laughs> one, two, three. They say we're young and we don't know. Won't find out until we grow. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I don't know if all that's true, because you got me. And baby, I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I, got you, babe. Do, do, do. I guess that's so. We don't have a part, at least I'm sure, of all the things we've got. Yeah, man. Do, do, do. Babe. <laughs> I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. That was uh, horrific. I think Holly's good. Thanks. I think Jimmy. he's holding her back. Do you think it's horrific in light of what you've seen today? In Anything? any comparison, it was horrific. Mm. <laughs> no, yeah. that's not true. That can't happen. That can't be true. Well, it you could stamp your feet all you like. It was terrible. Dermot, I wanted to Dermot, stand Dermot, it for you. No. It's a song choice. Can we vote? Yes, please. Danny? To win the X Factor, not. Louis? I'm saying yes to Holly. Yes, Cheryl? Yes, yes to Jamie. Oh! oh my God, Just let you leave right, I'm going to say no to both of you. Simon. I didn't see that coming a mile off. Just one of those things, get out. Bye bye. Thanks to Simon, it's a very boring draw in the final round, but that still means that surprisingly, I'm the winner overall. Yip yip. <laughs> After his devastating defeat in Presentiators, Dermot gets stuck into a new career. Are they for us? Uh, sorry, it's what you ordered? Yes, thank you, that's me. It's time to meet our next auditionees. Hi, we're too tall. We're Sam's. I'm 17, he said. Hi, we're too tall. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Hi, we're too tall. We're 17 and from Ashton Underline. We're here today because we think we've got a pretty good chance of going somewhere with our voices. We're regularly singing at weddings and birthdays and sometimes funerals. Uh, <laughs> we don't we get the weddings and birthdays more, but um, they're not that nice when you're singing. 
them the dead person's favourite song and you've got the fun the crane. I'm positive they're not the nut crane because of the singing. <laughs> Oh, you should make the dead person. Oh. Oh. Who have we got here? Two Tom. Two Tom. Cal is already yawning. 17. And what's your dream? To just sing as a career, to sing with him as well, more than anything. Good. Let's have the song. I mean, closer than pages that stick in a book. We're closer than rare balls that flow in a brook. Strolling Wherever you'll find him, you'll find me just on you. We're close to the miser, all the bloodhounds and eyes on me. We stick together like glue. I'm so yeah. What about two tone? And there was no harmonies, so it was just two people singing at us. Richie, I think you've got a very, very good voice. Thank you. In that Frank Sinatra kind of way. Have you ever sang Frank Sinatra? I know that's life. Go on. Go on. That's life. That's what all the people say, yeah. We're riding high in April, shot down in May. OK. Do you think Richie should go solo? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Might be one time. I don't know. But this isn't working, Simon, as an act. I actually think he could. Do you? Mm -hmm. I think with a bit of practice, there's something there. So I'm going to say yes. Okay. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no to the, this act as it is, but how would you feel if we asked you to come back on your own? No? That's a no for today, guys. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'm disappointed. I actually thought there was something there. Yeah, yeah, it's always better when we're together. It looks like a friendship rolls with these two. How do you think it went? Um, I don't think it went as well as we can do, but... Mm. Why are you smiling? He's got a really good compliment today out of it. He's come along and they've said to him that they really enjoyed him, so I'm proud of my friend more than anything else. Oh, how nice is that? Bless you. Well, that's really good to hear. I hope you continue to stay together for a long time. I think you both got, you've got a proper mate there and you've got a proper mate there. So, well done, the pair of you. Right. Still to come. Worst part of the ITV2 show. Again. Yeah! Baby! Can't happen. <laughs> can we go? You can go. Okay. Brace yourselves at home because the energy levels are about to go through the roof. The atmosphere in here is electric. Everybody is a wannabe superstar, including these guys. It's the wannabes. <laughs> How excited are you about being here? Still the moon. And are you really, like, eager to impress? Yeah. That's why I make a big, big impression. Yeah. You can kind of feel, like, that electric thing between you. Yeah. It's like a, an energy, just like... Yeah. <laughs> pulsating. Guys, exciting times, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Really exciting. And what's the name of your group? The Wannabes. The Wannabes. Why did you choose that? It's the first thing I, f name I could think of. OK, how long have you known each other for? Uh, about a year and a half now. Have you been practising for a year and a half? For about a year. What are you going to sing? Little Miss Pipe Dream by The Wombats. The Wombats? Okay. Indie band. Oh, OK. I, I think, think she... The the post <laughs> man. Yeah. I think the postman intercepts everything I try to send to you. Cos he's infatuated and he's the fulcrum between us two. Oh. Do -do 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 do 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 uh, it, uh, one of the worst songs I've ever heard. Do you know anything else? I'm not going to sing anything else. Why? Because we prepared that to come and sing. Oh, if you don't like why. it, then you don't like it. So do you not know anything else? Yeah, of course we do. But you're not going to sing. OK, let's take a vote then. <sighs> Simon! Uh, no. Cheryl? No. No, no. No. It's a no from me, guys. You just don't know what you're on about, do you? What did you say? Why? You don't know what you're on about? Are we missing the Because you don't like the song. I thought you two were terrible. 
And you have one of the worst attitudes I have ever, oh. ever come across. Sure. Not for me, no. for you. It's not for me. You get nowhere, certainly not in this industry with that attitude, mate. Right. You watch. Where have you gone? Um, well, a lot further than you ever will. Six years in the lane, 18 top tens. No, they've done very well, shouldn't they? What? They've done very well. You, in the glasses, need to find a new partner. He's holding you back. Why? Lovely to meet you. Oh. They were fun. The judges have got the wannabes all fired up. Time to give them a chance to unleash their fury. Is there anything you want to say to them? Payson. Yeah. That's it. Well, I'm glad you've got that off your chest, boys. Simon. You know what's on next? Yes, the worst part of the ITV2 show, Stupid Louis with his stupid limericks. OK, you might want to put your fingers in your ears and I turn around. Have. Goodbye. And you. OK, here it is. Not for Simon, but for you guys, the true fans. Hello, it's Louis Limericks, again. <laughs> there was a judge from Kelchima who was the best judge, and by far. He's the king of the panel, on the best TV channel, though he's generally found in the bar. Well, now the auditions really are actually totally and utterly over. That's it, they're all done. <laughs> The presents have been handed out. I've got a candle. What have you got? Anyone? Did anyone Cond else get a candle? Candle in the wind. Did anyone else get a candle? Candle in the wind. Just me. And the judges are getting all nostalgic. Any favourite auditions? Terrific. And so fantastic. No doubt you look so fine. Whoa, girl, I wanna make you mine. Yeah, come on. Just let me be with the woman that I love. The woman that I love. The worst with the group in Manchester, the boy and the girl. <laughs> Absolutely um, atrocious. We belong together, baby. When you left, I lost a part of me. But lurking beneath these fond memories is something altogether more sinister for one of our judges. Yes, viewers. It's Louis' annual category panic. I don't want the over 25s. I don't know what I'm going to do if I get them. I didn't want this category. Hello, Louis. Yes, Simon. What have you got? I've got the grill. Look, that's so funny. <laughs> so obnoxious. So full of it. <laughs> I'm not saying anything, because last year <laughs> they gave me the worst category. So I'm we saying nothing. Anyone. No, we no, I'm saying anyone. nothing. Thank God you're not the only judge on this panel. I hope she gets in your category. I'd take her. I would like them in my category, by the way. I'm not sure they'd want you. I don't want to win again. She won last year. I don't want the groups. You don't want the groups? I don't want them. You're saying that right I'm now. They can't it's happen. Brilliant. Don't want no, the groups. Want group. That means they'll give them to me, then. That can't happen again this year. Can we go? You can go. OK. Bye bye. Go back, go back to London. Holly. Bye bye. Bye. So that is it for our auditions. The judges have gone. All the camera guys are de-rigging. It's now time to head on to boot camp. <laughs> stop it talking to me. By the way, I already know who's going to win the show. <sighs> honey, honey, honey. Why won't you stop? It's going to get tough. Get a ring. <laughs> I got jumped on. Don't go there. Watch backstage interviews and relive the auditions at itv.com slash xfactor. We've got brand new quiz show Celebrity Juice coming your way next Wednesday at 10, hosted by Keith Lemon, Holly Willoughby and Fern Cotton going head-to-head -head as panel hosts. Next tonight, though, it's Katie Brand and her big-ass show.